with our fry cleaning, uh, we're going to go over dust mopping floors. Uh, dust mopping is a dust mopper. You use this surface for mopping. Excuse and me. you can use this surface here where you see the hairs, normally for sweeping. Okay? So, whenever you dust mopping, you want to have some sort of moisture on the bottom before you start. This is just water, right? So it's just giving it some sort of lubrication before you actually start the mopping. This is mopping oil, right? So we're gonna use this for the wood floors here, bottom floors, wood floors, very normal. Not very common to use it on tile. Um, this is a microfiber surface. Now you can also use a regular mop head, but this is a microfiber mop head, okay? Um, the reason why I love microfiber mop heads, you're able to wash them, but they actually absorb dirt. Cotton, after you use it a certain few, you know, so many times, um, the dirt appears right back on your floor. It strips your floor, it strips your wax surfaces, and it also is something, even if you air it outside, it, it just retains smell, okay? So these don't retain like an odor. You can clean it, reuse it, very inexpensive. Um, and it's something that is very similar to Swiffer's. It just doesn't waste as much money, okay? Swiffer does not absorb any moisture. This does, this is a thick pad, okay? So you have this wood floor, it's going in this flow. You always want to uh, mop in the flow of the floor, in the direction the floor is going, okay? So this mopping globe, you put down in an S shape, okay? As you can tell, I have it, you know, closely together. As soon as you put it down, you need to mop it up. So I go in the flow, in the direction of the floor, and then you overlap each row that you mop. And that's it. Very simple. You do not want to, you do not want to pour too much of the mop and glow down to where you cannot get to it in time. You only want to pour a certain, a, a certain amount where you know you can mop it up. If you do not mop it up in time, it will leave a stain on your floor. It will dry and it will be very hard to get up, almost as if you have to strip it off your floor because mop and glow is very similar to a wax. So you want to do it very well. Now, you can use this not only for mop and glow, for Lysol, for any, any cleaning chemical, but when it comes to wood floors like this, I do prefer mop and glow, especially if it's a new construction site, only because it, it honestly um, revises uh, the shine on your floor. When you have construction sites, you know, you have tons of people walking, they have boots like this and it's a requirement, but it will, of course, um, help restore your floors back to its natural shine. And that's it, very simple. So thank you for your time.